you alright everyone, Acer here. So I'm going to do a quick video uh, shooting this new Nick Hegarty small ammo pouch. It's a 55mm pouch. I done a review on the Ben Priestman one there a few days ago. The Ben Priestman one's the one I'm currently shooting, although I've put a band set on with this to give it a go and I seem to be shooting alright with it. Like I say, 55mm long, microfiber. The microfiber feels pretty much the same as the Ben Priestman's if I'm honest. Some people say they're different but they feel the same to me. First glance though, it's got bigger banding holes, which might suit some people because it's a little bit easier to band. But let's put it through its paces. I have had, uh, I've been shooting with it for, for about a day now, I'd say. Nice smooth release with this microfiber. feels comfortable, very soft on my cheek as well, it's not grazing my cheek or anything or giving me any discomfort. One thing I've noticed that is a little bit different to the Ben Priestman and in no ways am I saying it's a bad thing. Uh, when I first started shooting it I was off for the first eight, nine shots. It was actually, it seemed like it was pushing me shots slightly to the right compared to the Ben Priestman, so I had to aim slightly over to the left. I mean fractions we're talking here, but it, it was. Uh, or you could say the Ben Priestman one is pushing me slightly over to the left and I'm aiming slightly over to the right. Either way, I had to, I couldn't jump straight from one to the other. I had to kind of adapt. Uh, so they're both shooting different. Why? Maybe it's because this one's a little bit longer, adds a touch a bit more weight. Who knows? But they do both shoot different, although once I've got my reference point in, I'm pretty confident with uh, this one as much as the Ben Priestman one. Shoots really nice. I think with this pouch being slightly bigger than the Ben Priestman one, uh, this this one's 55 as opposed to 45, I'm shooting 7mm steels. I think this pouch would be really good and really come into its own with an 8mm steel. An 8mm is what the majority of uh, people who's drop down ammo are shooting at the minute. Like you can see, it's it's a good pouch. You can't fault it. Shoots really well, really smooth shooting. Really looking forward to this handover shoot at the weekend. Be a cracking weekend. Ah, let that one go a little bit too quick. There you go, only one missed out of a handful of shots, so you can see this pouch is performing really, really well. Um, would I say it's better than the Pre Ben Priestman one? No. Would I say the Ben Priestman one's better than this? No. I don't think there is any better or worse pouch, only the right pouch for you. Uh, I'd recommend novice shooters and experienced shooters, although experienced shooters kind of know what they want. That said, I'm experienced and I'm still learning. Just buy these pouches from Ben, buy them from Nick. They're only cheap pennies, you know what I mean? Or pounds, I should say. Uh, buy them all, give them a go, because each one will shoot slightly different. Uh, like I said, they, they shoot off slightly different compared to one another. They don't shoot identical. So give them all a try, see what you think, and eventually you'll come to what you, you think is your best pouch until something better comes along. I find different pouches can shoot different with different tapers as well, but like I said... How could I not recommend the small ammo pouch from Nick Hegarty than shoot like I've just shot there? Cheers all, thanks for watching.